Hey guys and welcome back to a new accumulation zone trade recap. Today I'm going to be recapping the London kill zone which is happening from 2 a.m. New York local time until 5 a.m. New York local time. So basically 2 a.m. New York local time always represents the Frankfurt Open. So basically when the German uh, stock market is basically opening up, that's usually when we get to see some sort of volatility after the Asian kill zone, which is happening from 8 till 11 p.m. New York local time. So sometimes we see this beautiful consolidation during the Asian session. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm going through my watch list here. I'm going to show you one more example where exactly the same thing happened today. So we see this tight consolidation during the Asian session. That's all we see, nothing else. Okay, let me use the replay function here, right here at 2 a.m. And let me, let get, let's get rid of from all those things. So basically what we saw is we had a huge consolidation here. And by the way, the indicators I'm using is the accumulation zone, SCARP Pro version 3.1 and the stochastic RSI, all based on the strategy I also made a video about the strategy and it's called the Stochastic RSI, uh, Scarpa Pro Scarping Strategy. I usually like to do it on a 1 to 15 minute time frame. Today I did not feel like trading the 1 minute time frame because of what's going on and I expected so much volatility on a small time frame getting me in too many trades that I actually don't want to get be involved in. So I decided to look at a 15 minute chart today when I woke up and basically what I saw was this. So I saw that we have a buy side liquidity. So we have the Asian session high and the Asian session low representing our sell side liquidity. All right. We also on the Scarpa Pro see that after this massive pump here during the New York session last night, we reversed back into the Scarpa Pro bands and afterwards we consolidated somewhere around the average and now we're in this tight consolidation. If I zoom in here, we get some faked outs, uh, faked out breakouts basically, but disregard them. We've got our range set and our range is this box and this consolidation. That's what we're looking at. Everything else doesn't matter. Also, I'm using the session pro indicator, which luckily tells you the previous day high and previous day low. Those are those two represented lines here colored in blue where most of the liquidity is laying in most of the institutional orders. So let's see. I just want to talk through it before I'm say before I'm showing you actually what happened. So basically what's happening is right here short positions are being stacked. So if price is breaking through this level traders or trades are being triggered in the short direction. Same for up here. If price is breaking this level, longs are triggered. Okay, let's see what's happening. If we click here step by step. So we have the Frankfurt open and we see this bullish engulfing candlestick. The candle coloring is overlaid by the Scarpa Pro. So if the Scarpa Pro is colored in red, the candles are going to be colored in red. Same for green. Okay, let's see. So we saw we got a stochastic RSI crossover, but the Scarpa Pro is not bullish yet. And ideally, we would like to take a trade um, after this level is broken and we see a confirmed breakout. And it's really important, we want to see a confirmed breakout. So during the first 15 minutes, we had this initial pump to the upside. Let me zoom in here. With a indecisive candle on the next 15 minute candle, and then at 2.30, we had a bearish candlestick. Let's continue. So now we triggered shorts into the market. Of course, this would have been a valid short setup. But if we're so close to the London opening, which would be happening at the next 15 minute candle, I usually like to wait. If I would have seen a setup right at 2 a.m. Uh, 2 New York local time, I would have taken it. But it didn't happen, so I wanted to be patient, especially because I expected so much volatility today. So let's continue. We're not taking this trade, even if you would have taken it. Remember what I said earlier, 
right up here there's going to be long orders being triggered and it's very lucrative for market makers to move price just slightly above you so if you're taking the short be aware that yeah liquidity is laying above here that is likely to be targeted so we see okay we triggered the shorts we triggered the shorts we would have had our perfect setup but it did not take this setup because of the time it's 15 minutes ahead of the london opening and what's happening at the london opening of course i know it i already traded it it's going to be hindsight for you but i want to see a clear break and a close below this low and also this low here so we didn't really get that so i just decided to stay out of the market for now and we broke the high and we already broke the low so we triggered shorts into the market which very likely had their stop losses somewhere around this area that already have been triggered so all those short traders here that took the short maybe on a one minute time frame or five minute time frame got liquidated here and now long positions are being triggered into the market here let's see what the next 15 minute candle brings so okay we broke out to the upside we did not get a bullish cross below the 50 level i usually like to see it right below here let's see what's happening it's a specific pattern that i'm looking for so you're gonna see everything at the end and it's gonna make perfect sense okay so we triggered those long positions but we did not really break here we don't we did not really close significantly above this asian session high instead we got a rejection candle here a 15 minute bearish candlestick followed by another 15 minute bearish candlestick and this time i'd consider it a close that is quite significantly we got our stochastic rsi crossover here and we've been above the 80 level which is really important to for the probability of your trade so we had this initial pump and now we have the bias that we had the frankfurt open here we triggered longs into the market liquidated those shorts that already jumped into the market here so now buyers and sellers are already exhausted so here's the london open free am new york local time what's happening within that hour we're closing this hour bearish so hourly breakout trader would take this thing short so i wanna if i'm getting into a trade right around the london session timing and in that kill zone timing is really important so for hourly traders they saw this huge indecision all the time and now this candle is actually closing bearish for hourly traders so they are very likely to enter into a short position and that's exactly what i did and where would i where did i put my take profit on the previous day low basically this new york session low here we got our scarpa pro breakout we had the stochastic crossover i know we already had it here theoretically but we did not go above the 80 level on the stochastic rsi and that's usually when you get trapped so i like to see traders being trapped and liquidated before i get into my position that's basically a very smart thing to do before you take your trade you basically want to see other traders liquidated even if you would have taken that short position here and gave it a little bit more room here to the upside with your stop loss you should have been fine but yeah i want to wait and so now in this last hour until 5 a.m new york local time i want to see this thing drop down till here i'm gonna take partials all the way down to here and i'm gonna size into this position so with the next candle we already dropped we continue to move and that's an actual considered breakout so even if you would have entered with half of your position size for example half a lot size would have still been valid and then you enter with the rest after the breakout is properly confirmed just to lock in a very 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 good entry position we continue to drop because 15 hourly traders and 30 minute traders even four hour traders got into the market and they saw this thing drop so they traded with the trend 
Next candle is dropping. We almost hit our take profit and we smashed through our take profit and quickly got bought up because that's where a lot of liquidity is lying. So previous daily low and pre previous daily high, those levels are really important. I'm always watching them. And afterwards we consolidated. We did not close below this previous daily low. That's really important. Continued a small rally back up and that's where we are sitting at right now, basically. And this is this exact setup that I'm looking for. If I see this small range during and pre-Asian session, I want to see traders trapped into a position. Traders were trapped long here. They were trapped short here. Even though it's not as significant, it's still significant to me because you could have entered short here and long here. You get trapped and then you're, then you're exhausted. The buyers and sellers at this point in time when it's breaking to the downside again, they are exhausted. And a general rule of thumb could be that before you want to see it short, you first want to see short traders being trapped into the market. So that's step one, trigger shorts. Step two is liquidate those shorts and trigger longs before we take our trade for a breakout especially for consolidations because that's where they make their money of course sometimes in a perfect world the thing would just drop all the way down to the previous daily low here already but unfortunately we don't live in a perfect world and consolidations are a insane opportunity for market makers to make some quick and quick and fast profits by triggering longs into the market, triggering shorts into the market, and then first breaking it. So we have force break one, two, before we break it. So this was the setup we had today on GBP USD during the London kill zone. And if we check out GBP JPY, we saw a very similar setup. We had a even narrower consolidation during the Asian kill zone. So I'm only watching those levels. I don't really care about what's happening right here, right now. I'm only looking at my kill zones. Kill zones starting at 8 p.m. New York local time until midnight. I like to drag it over until midnight because then the day, according to New York local time, is over, done and over with. So first of all, we triggered longs into the market. Then we broke out to the downside. So we have only trapped long positions here in the market. So right here, right after midnight, they faked long traders into the market to take this thing long, long, long. They even went above this high, right here, this high. More traders are anticipating this thing to go long. What did we get? We got a bearish candlestick, so smart money traders or institutions filled in, in more short positions right here because if someone's going short, someone else has to take the other side of this trade so they have to go long so they have to make it look like it's going long just so they can fill their short positions to make more profits so we broke here and then we pulled back into our consolidation we got a beautiful doji pin bar with a nice bearish engulfing candlestick of the previous two bullish candlesticks right here we broke it again so a general rule of thumb if you would have entered on this break to the downside Placing your stop loss on a swing high would have been very valid. But our previous daily low would already have been sitting here. So we would be just targeting a simple 1 to 1.5 or 2 to 1. This is the reason why I did not trade on British Pound Japanese Yen. The setup is almost the same. We didn't trigger shorts in the market and then long in the market before we broke short. We only triggered longs, broke. And then we might got maybe, maybe we got rid of some weak traders that entered on this breakout already. And they entered with a too big, too big of a position size. Market pulled back and they were already in drawdown by one or two hundred dollars because they expect this thing to drop straight away. That's where institutions get more short positions in from weak hands so from traders that can't stand holding a position with a little drawdown or basically they it's their own fault because yeah they use a too big of a position size and their stop loss was perhaps 
too small and especially with spread on GBP, JPY, it wouldn't have worked out. So that's why I decided to take the GU setup here because we were still decent amount, a decent amount of pips away from uh, our previous daily low. To be exact, we've been 90 pips away from it. <clears throat> and yeah, that's my template. We saw this short, long, being triggered into the market before we broke it short. We got our stochastic crossover right here. And even if you would have taken this short, you would have lost maybe 1%. Consider like best case scenario if you're using proper risk management. You could have and you could have already exited on that candle because it's clearly not a breakout. As soon as we're engulfing this candle here or this candle, I would have closed the trade manually because it's not the thing I'm looking for. I want to see a breakout where afterwards we are falling, falling and falling and falling. So I decided for the, I decided to trade the right pair. I'm very glad, I'm very happy about it. And yeah, why did it fall here without? any pullback straight to the previous daily low because buyers and sellers have been pre-exhausted with shorts being triggered and longs being triggered that's all for me today guys i hope you learned something from this video if you want to use the scalper pro to get the candle coloring and awesome divergence indications and breakout indications like this one for example the link for that is going to be in the description below there's a 10 day free trial and yeah make sure to join us on discord to learn more about how i'm trading and how to use the accumulation zone indicators and i will see you in the next trade recap take care guys and stay safe and one more little thing i really want to point out before i end this video is what is it what setups what type of trading is it that you're performing best Go through, go through your trade history. Look at your trades. When are they happening? What types of setups are they? Figure it out. Once you figure it out, focus on those setups. Master this one simple setup. And every time you see this simple setup, you take it. You make money with it. Everything else doesn't matter to you anymore. Focus on what you can do best. And you will have success. I can guarantee it to you.